Hi, I'm Nick. We're at the Dallas Market. It is January 2020, and we are introducing all of our new specialty tape products, and so I just want to quickly, quickly walk you through that. Um, all the specialty products I'm about to show you are all built on the rock-solid foundation of the V5 system, so the upgraded 3-ounce circuit, um, uh, printed circuit board, uh, gold copper, tight binning, perfect color and consistent, and so just keep that in mind as we walk through. We're starting with tunable white. The benefit of tunable white is you can change the use of a room. So for example, if this were in a restaurant, you could start the restaurant off in the afternoon with a really fun quinceanera party something, and then by that evening, you can actually change the use of the room by tuning the white to a very nice amber, some tablecloths and candlelight, and now it's a nice romantic setting. Let me tell you about the controls. This is an RF system. The wall control takes 120 volts uh, and talks RF radio frequency to the decoder so you don't have to have any wires. Um, we are currently working on getting you a listing for the wall control, so right now we really want to focus on releasing our products, but in the next month or so we will have a solution for controls, either this one or something very similar. You step over here, this is our new RGB for Inspire V5 series. In the V5 series, we have two series. We've got the standard series, which is more economical, and then we've got the specification series, which is more high density and looks perfect under a lens. So with that in mind, here's our new Inspire RGB. Uh, we have the RGB 4.0, which is four watts per foot. It's 18 LEDs per foot, so like the standard series, a little more economically priced. Um, but if you want to do something that looks perfect under a lens, we have the Inspire RGB 6.0 at 6 watts per foot, but this product actually has 56 LEDs per foot. It's a new RGB chip, the 3535, and the benefit of that is it's a smaller package, so we can put a lot more of them on the tape. Um, uh, like the last one, we have an RF system, uh, RF system radio frequency. This is the wall control. This is the decoder. They also come with a remote that you can use to change the color. Uh, by the way, this system also comes in a DMX option, so there's a Cat5 cable that runs between these. So if you're in a commercial space um, or an RF noisy space, uh, you would want, you want to use the wired system uh, just to ensure that it's communicating perfectly. So that's RGB. Over here we have RGBW. The benefit of RGBW is it also gives you the ability to control white. So in an RGB system, you can actually turn it white, but the color rendering is not very good. And so by adding a white chip to it, uh, you can have a perfectly uh, white color. In this series, we've got the RGB plus 3000K. 3000K works in a residential uh, setting because residences are usually between 2700K and 3000. It also works in a commercial setting, which usually is between 3000K and 3500K. So I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna dim down the RGB color and I'm gonna turn on the white chip. And so now you can see a perfect 3000K. It does a couple things for you. You can have fun colors or you can just have a perfect colored white. You can also do colors like pink um, uh, or your pastels because you need, so for example, pink, you'd use the RGB chip and then white together. So it opens up even more color options as well. So that's RGBW, similar control system, RF, wall control, um, talking to the decoder, or a DMX option with a Cat5 cable in between. Next, we have Warm Dim. We're pretty excited about this. Uh, the problem with the other Warm Dim products out there in the market, um, and that's what this is, most of them are a two-chip system. And the problem is, when you start dimming it down, the color changes from, this is color temperature, this is voltage, so as the voltage starts to drop, it immediately changes from 2800K all the way down to the end color of 1800K, and then the, and it's still pretty bright, and then as you're turning the dimmer down, it's the same color while the lumens drop. The product in front of you, this is our new Inspire Warm Dim, mimics an incandescent light bulb, so as you're dimming it down, as the, as the lumens are going down, so is the uh, color temperature as well. So let me demonstrate that for you. Uh, again, this is just standard product. This is our standard dimming driver, 24 volts, and this is a standard, this is the Legrand Whisper. We had a Diva dimmer in here earlier. Just any standard dimmer works with this system. Um, so as I, I'm gonna start with full bright, but as I start to dim down, notice that it actually starts warming up right away. And as I get towards the bottom, even the last little bit, it's still warming up. So it, like an incandescent bulb, dims throughout the entire range. 
So this is a, the way we're accomplishing that, by the way, is this is a new three chip system. I don't know if you can see that, but where the competitors have two chips, we actually have three. So we're the only company that has a three chip system and that's how we're able to accomplish that. Last, we have our new universal dimming driver. I'm gonna stand over here. The thing about this driver is it works with every dimmer. It works with forward phase, triac, uh, reverse phase, MLV, ELV, forward phase, reverse, all of that. It works with, and it works with zero to 10, one to 10, it's an incredible machine. Um, the way we built the display, it is allows you to hook up different uh, dimmers. I'm gonna hook up two. We're starting with, this is the Lutron Caseta, which is a digital device. We're gonna hit the dim button on this, which we already preset. You can see that dim down beautifully. We're gonna let it go back up. So you can see that's working fine. I'm gonna turn off the power. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook this up to the Leviton zero to 10. Let me just explain the ones in between. This is Caseta, which is more of a digital device. The Diva Incandescent actually is more of a mechanical dimmer. This is the CL dimmer, which uh, is meant for compact fluorescents and screw in LED light bulbs, and this works great. Um, this is the Leviton zero to 10 volt dimmer. We're gonna plug this in. And then this is the zero to 10 volt. Uh, usually it's a purple and gray wire. And so we're gonna demonstrate this. I'm gonna turn the power back on. And so this particular dimmer has an on off button. Uh, but watch how well this dimming is. First of all, it's very smooth. You can stop at any point. You don't see any flicker. And look how low we can go. We're gonna go all the way down. It's almost off. And so this is, this is the new driver. It's gonna come in 30 watts, 60 watts, 96 watts. It'll also come in 192 watts, 288 watts. All of those are UL listed, not just UL recognized, but UL listed. Class two, um, they also have thermal protection. Should you put it in an attic when overload it, if it starts to get hot, it'll lovingly shut itself down till it cools off and comes back on. So this is our new driver, uh, an incredible device. So. Those are our new products. Thanks for watching.